Mike Young joins us. Coach, first of all, great seeing you. And, I uh, mean, that was some kind of ball game Saturday now. That that was a heavyweight fight. Uh, that was a good one. Uh, first, before anything else is said, PAC is back. Everyone across the ACC and your listening audience, viewing audience, is thrilled to see you. We've all had a lot of good thoughts for you and your family. It's a pleasure to see you again, my friend. Well, I appreciate uh, those kind words, and I appreciate you reaching out as well. All you know, all the ACC coaches, basketball, football, baseball. I mean, the the outpouring of support was uh, was really remarkable, and um, I believe me, we really, really appreciate it. But we're here to talk though, hoops. Um, boy, you get Couture back. I know Rice is going to be out. You got the Maddox thing going on there, but I mean, Couture really has made a difference to this basketball team. I know you were waiting for him to get back. But it feels like everybody's kind of stepped up their game at the right time for you, and you really needed it. They have, Mark. We're, we're playing pretty well. I thought we we were terrible defensively at Miami. Now, Miami is so good offensively, they can turn you inside out, and they did that. We, uh, uh, we're playing uh, as well offensively as we've played all year now. Uh, better play both sides of the ball Saturday against Virginia. We did that. Um, and uh, let's let's keep uh, let's keep the party rolling. Uh, we've got Austin College coming in here on uh, on Wednesday. Uh, let's uh, let's defend. Uh, let's share the ball. Let's let's move it from side to side and get a good shot every time down. If we do that, uh, we're going to be fine. We've got we've got good basketball players, obviously. Well, coach, defensively, using your words here, you guys went from gross against Miami to pretty darn salty against Virginia. What was the difference? What changed for you guys? I, I, I was I was really referencing the defensive end. If I misunderstood you, I'm sorry. Um, you know, uh, there has to be a level of, uh, of physicality. They've got to feel you. Um, Miami didn't feel us. Uh, Virginia felt us. Uh, you know, we've had a number of other games, and we've we've touched it on a number of you know uh, different times throughout the year, but. Um, Virginia felt us. Uh, we we um, our shot selection was good for the most part. We handled the ball well for the most part. Uh, not that Virginia's trying to blow your doors off in transition, but um, you know, as most Virginia games are, and we would much prefer this. Uh, we were able to play in the half court, and um, uh, for forty minutes, I thought uh, we thought did a pretty good job with it. Um. Well, I know this year is totally different than last, but there are some similarities. How much does winning the ACC championship give you that championship DNA to say, guess what, guys? Yeah, we, you know, we put ourselves in a tough situation, but guess what? We've been here before. You know, we, we know how to roll up our sleeves and go to work. How, how does that come into play this year just based on the experience alone? Well, I, I hope they aren't reliant on, uh, on that. We backed ourselves into a bad hole mark. Uh, let's, let's be honest, call it what it is. Um, uh, because of, uh, 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 our work or lack thereof in January, here we are February 6th. And, uh, we've got, we've got a lot of work to do. Uh, now we had a great November, December. Um, uh, we don't talk about last year at all. The, the those two teams and, and the circumstances are different somewhat. Um, we, we have to play well on Wednesday. Uh, th that's the only thing we can be concerned about. Um, now, Mutz and Couture and Padula, those guys that have been through it and have, have, uh, have done it, they understand the edge, the edge that, that we've got we've to be on. We have to play on um, night in, night out. And, um, you know, they will embrace that. Uh, we've got uh, really good teams Coming up, the first one is uh, Boston College on uh, on Wednesday. So let's practice well tomorrow in preparation for Wednesday and uh, be ready to roll when uh, when it goes in the air uh, against the Eagles. So, Coach, say whatever term you want. I, I heard you use the word abyss post game after Virginia, and I wasn't sure if you were winking at David Teal or David Cunningham in that post game press conference. But did a little research. Turns out David Teal has been covering you guys for a long time said you were in the abyss. Number one, is that a fair characterization? And number two, how did you pull yourself out of the abyss? I'm an old boy from Radford, Virginia. I never knew what the word meant. I had to look it up when I read uh, Teal printed in the uh, 
in the uh, in the paper. Um, it was a fair uh, characterization for where we were at that point in time. I think it was after the uh, Virginia game. I admire David's work. Uh, I read a lot of his, uh, if not all, of his uh, stuff. I've admired him for a long, long time. Uh, there was nothing unfair about uh, the comment. There was nothing unfair about the word. Now, that's where we were. Um, let's uh, let's 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 get on the stick and correct it, and play better basketball. Um, and uh, let's see, uh, let the chips fall where they may. You know, this season you mentioned is totally different than last, and it, it certainly feels that way if you've been watching as a fan because the top half of the league is so much better than it was a year ago. Um, and that, of course, becomes a challenge, especially in your situation. But being able to win on the road, Coach, that has to happen down the stretch for Virginia Tech. And I know that has not been a, a great situation for you, but that definitely must change for you in February and March. Yeah, you're, you're right. Uh, it's not that doggone hard. Uh, we haven't played very well. Um, and we've had our chances. We had our chances at, uh, at Wake Forest. We had our chances at, uh, at Clemson. Uh, but uh, those teams were a little bit better than we were. I think we have four left. I think it's uh, Georgia Tech, Louisville, um, uh, Duke, and, um, and Notre Dame. And Notre Dame yeah. You know, so uh, we do. Um, uh, good teams went on the road, fellas. I mean, good teams, you know, carry their defense with them and fight and, uh, and rebound, get enough stops to get out of there. Um, you know, again, let's take care of Wednesday and then, uh, off we go. I don't know where we go. I think it's Notre Dame on Saturday. Let's, yep. um, let's, let's stay inch by inch. Uh, you know, we, we can't think out here. Uh, it's gotta be uh, a narrow, a narrow focus, a narrow mindset. Um, uh, just uh, the way it's gotta be. Well, it helps when Hunter Couture is knocking down shots from the V in the Virginia Tech logo at Castle. You've coached some great shooters. Does Hunter Couture have Fletch McGee range? He's got Fletch McGee range. Um, Fletch McGee's uh, uh, ability, a runaway shooter, a guy that can run a, a hundred miles an hour away from the basket and catch the ball and get squared and, uh, and make that shot, which is next to impossible to defend. Um, uh, I've never seen one like him, uh, and I've had a couple. Uh, Couture does things better than Fletch, much better defender, much better cutter, uh, passer. Uh, but McGee was in a category of his own just in terms of his ability to um, uh, contort his body and, uh, and score. Um, you know, so there you go. Coach, uh, we had Sean Padula on the show not too long ago, and I was bragging to him about you because the one thing I love the most about college basketball are coaches that call a timeout and then come out with a set play. And I, in my opinion, I told him this. I think you run the best stuff in the league coming off a timeout. And so I tried to get him to give me, like, his favorite Mike Young set play coming off a timeout. <laughs> and you'll be proud to know, he said, Pack, there's no way I'm going to tell you what my face. So he gave no <laughs> hints. I said, if coach is watching, he's going to love that. So I'm going to put you on the spot. Because, uh, I, again, I think you run the best stuff coming off a timeout. Uh, do you have a go-to? Do you, how do you play that? Do you have a vibe? Do you have a feel? Is it one of those things that you've watched the game long enough? You say, guess what? I think we could take advantage of this. How, how does that work for you, given how great your stuff is coming off a timeout? Well, you're kind to say that. It's really about matchups. Who's who? Who's matched up with who? Is it uh, is it a matchup that we can go at? Um, you know what what does the game need? Uh, what is what does our team need? Uh, time and score. Uh, do we need something around the basket? Do we need a mutz post up uh, with his ability to spray the ball to the other side? Do we need a couture? You know, uh, uh, a dribble handoff that uh, we can throw back. And then into uh, to someone um, that is all based on feel. And um, you know, I am aided. You know, Mark, I've been doing it a long time now, 21 years. I'm thankful. Uh, and through all of those experiences, you know, a long time ago, latch, latched on to 
you know, some things that uh, that we like and and um, uh, our teams are good with. Can't run the same things every year. We got to you know mix and match it, but uh, but that's part of the fun. All right, let me just follow up on that. Who outside the ACC footprint, if you're watching a game, do you go? You know what? I really like the stuff that they do. Yeah, just just I'm just curious from a coaching perspective. I'm going going way back now. You're talking about a guy that cut his teeth at the mid major level, Rick Bird from Belmont. Oh, yeah. In my opinion, is one of the best to ever do it. John Beeline at uh, West Virginia, Michigan. Uh, I just so admired Coach Mike Montgomery at Cal and Stanford. I mean, I could go on and on. Um, my philosophy and how we do things is, you know, beg, bar, and steal from a lot of really great, great minds. That Bob McKillop from uh, from Davidson, Davidson, who we competed against, John Cress, College of Charleston. Um, you know, I have uh, admired, marveled at a lot of, or some of the game's best, and uh, kind of stolen from a little bit from all of them. Well, Mike, you mentioned you've been doing this for for two decades now. That's about how long uh, KenPom.com has existed. I know this is yeah. your your favorite subject. I promised Pack I would ask you about Ken Palm. I think you called it Kenny Palm. Last year, you know, you, you know, you do realize, Mark. You guys realize that Ken Palm is a hokey. He is a Virginia Tech graduate. Didn't know that, did you? <laughs> no, no, I didn't no. know. That. He is. He is, and he has been by our offices before. And he's a delightful man. Uh, there we go. Super smart, um, fellas. You know, I, I, this is thirty-seven years for me, uh, and all these guys, these young guys, come in here you know, barking all these analytics and uh, numbers and all this stuff. Um, I, I've had people say, you don't pay a whole lot of attention. No, I don't. Uh, don't turn the ball over. Uh, you know, guard someone. Get a great shot every time down. I don't need a bunch of numbers for that. I, I, I know exactly what I'm looking at. So, um, you know, some may scoff at that. Good for them. That's uh, worked out pretty well for me through the years. Well, I forget Ken Palm. I'm trying to figure out this NCAA net. I mean, I got I, I got, <laughs> no. I, I got, in, <laughs> I got NC State sitting there at 42, and they're a, they're a spot behind uh, Ohio State that's two games under 500. I mean, none of that makes sense. I mean, you couldn't explain that to me in a million years. I think I think the net. I do think the net. I think uh, Ken Palm. You know, ultimately, when it's all said and done, it it uh, it works its way out um, and gets to the right. Things are, are there some are there some uh, mistakes? Yeah, uh, but um, you know some of that's some of those are head scratchers right now. Mark, yeah. fellas, NC State is very very good. Um, Joiner's contributions to this team and others. Uh, Tarquavian's playing great. Pittsburgh is really really good. We have got them coming up here soon. Um, I'm a big fan of the Atlantic Coast Conference and the teams in our league. And uh, I think we've got a lot of teams that could win games in the AC- N- NCAA tournament. Um, you know, look forward to what lies ahead for the Hokies. Look forward to what lies ahead for our league. You got that right. Coach, listen, always a pleasure. And, again, many thanks uh, for reaching out. Uh, meant a great thanks. deal to us thanks. from a personal standpoint. Love watching your team play. Thanks, my friend. I wish everybody well. You got it. Mike Young running the show in Blacksburg, Virginia Tech. Got BC coming up this week.